The Dozen Trivia Competition presented by High Noon returns with the battle for the Crown 7. Number one ranked Chicago is looking to defend the crown once again as the season draws closer and closer to ending. Will they retain the crown and stretch their streak to over 100 days as the top team in the Dozen Trivia Competition? Their foes? It's Smokin, 4-1-0 on the season. Donnie Kenjak and Mark Titus beat Chicago in the Dozen Trivia Tournament last year and once this season. Can they grab the number one spot? It's Chicago, it's Smokin, and it all starts right now. All right, it's the Dozen match. One eighty-four overall of season two. This is match 167. It is the Battle for the Crown 7, a quick turnaround. <clears throat> A quick turnaround in the battle for the crown. The Chicago boys, the number one ranked team for now. We're recording this on the 21st. When you watch this, it'll be 89 consecutive days holding the crown. It's been the 85 Bears can't hold the candle to the defense that Chicago is. But Kirk joked about it, and the other team joked about it last time. But you guys have not allowed more than nine points since you beat Uptown Balls back in December. Um, nobody can just break through double digits. It's been tough. The matches have been tough. The crown bet matches have been very tough questions. I will note that. The difficulty has been ramped up. But before we get into everything, uh, match sponsored by High Noon. This match of the Dozen and the Dozen Trivia Tournament 2 are sponsored by none other than High Noon Hard Seltzer, the best seltzer in the game. They're back sponsoring the tournament this year and the road to the tournament. And this week of matches, Real Vodka, Real juice, sparkling water, no malt like those other seltzers, and the 100 calories, and the flavors are fantastic. I'm a black cherry person myself. I don't know what it is. I like kind of like the red tint and the color to it. It just has that crisp taste, but so many great flavors. Grapefruit, lime, pineapple, peach, watermelon, mango. You can get the tropical packs, the variety packs, so many options. I, I know passion fruit now. It's coming in a four-pack. High noon is delicious, and guess what? The sun is rising on the summer yet again very soon, so get into gear with High Noon Hard Seltzer, sponsor of the Dozen and the Dozen Trivia Tournament 2. All right, this is a big one for both teams, obviously. Uh, here's how this is going to shake out. Chicago, if you win tonight, you hold the crown, and you will bring it to the uh, the Chicago live event, which tickets will be going on sale uh, at the end of this week or the beginning of next week. I don't know the date. I don't. There's not like a really reason why. Just it's either going to be probably like the 25th or 28th. The right, so right around there. Keep an eye out for tickets. Much bigger venue. Chicago guys will be there. Uh, you will have it for that event, which you may have to play like multiple crown matches at that event. Um, but we'll get into that. You got to win first. Uh, if you win, you hold it, uh, and then you could potentially leave that Chicago event with the number one overall seed in the Dozen Trivia Tournament. Smokin, other side, you're 4-1-0 and on the season. You win tonight, you get the crown, and then you'll play one more match, and it'll be for the crown to go into the tournament. It'll be match 200. Uh, so you get to skip all the way there. That's why Chicago, if you win tonight, will make it a little different, a little easier, because it's not going to make you go like three matches to hold it for the tournament. Uh, Smokin, you'll have one more after this if you win. So both teams are close to locking up the number one overall seed. Chief, how you? I mean, how you feel? If nobody is talking shit anymore at this point, nobody is saying you guys don't deserve it at this point. Yeah, I think our record speaks for itself. I gotta say, like this, I've wanted this team. We lost to them in the live show of the tournament last year in New York. So this is a little bit of a hopefully a revenge factor. They got weird brains. They got big brains, but I, I like. I feel like we're hot. Like you said, we're playing good defense. Questions are hard, so I hope uh, I hope we got it tonight. We uh, I do agree that the record stands for itself. Uh, you guys zero and two versus us, which makes me very confident going into this. Also, Titus brought up a great point in that you guys are off in the heels of Illinois losing as well, which is, makes this an ideal time for us to play. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable. You know, I thought we'd come in here with some gamesmanship. Uh, you know, I knew there'd be some shots, but Titus off the bat, man, obviously sucks my dick. Well, first of all, I, I texted Ken Jack and Donnie that before, like with full intentions that Ohio State was going to win. So uh, I'm, I'm kind of in the same boat as you guys. So I don't know how much of an advantage. We're all licking our wounds. All of us Big Ten <laughs> boys are uh, 
Yeah. Licking our wounds. Not a so. single person in here college basketball team is still alive in the tournament. So I guess that's just kind of how that goes. Yeah. Um, other side, Donnie. I, Donnie, I, I got to call out. You're once again not in the United States. You will be at the live event in New York, or not the uh, the, the tournament in New York. You'll be back yeah. for that. But I, I need to <laughs> – what time is it where you are and where are you currently? Uh, it's 2.12 a.m. and I am in Izmir, <laughs> Turkey, reporting live from <laughs> – the lobby of a uh, one-star hotel disguised as like a three-star hotel. I'm pretty sure the concierge heard me say that, but he doesn't speak English, so we're okay. You, we gotta, we gotta. We'll make a graphic. I gotta get the numbers from you after. We gotta, we have to make a graphic of every country and city you've done this show from because it is unbelievable. You've done it from almost every time zone I think on this planet. So yeah. That should um, be the question for our opponents. The first question every match we play is, where do you think Donnie – what continent is Donnie on? Yeah. And, <laughs> or um, I the did, time zones. Be like, what time is where Donnie yeah. is? Yeah. I managed to uh, sleep from about 10 p.m. to 1 a.m., though, so I'm feeling refreshed. Nice. Took a, a Frank the Tank sleep shift. That was smart. Yep. Um, so this is it. So here we go. Remind it again. Chicago, if you win, I'm going to make it fair – because you're going to play in Chicago, teams ranked in the top six. You may, yeah, Frank Getz will be there. Be another four team. We'll get into that whenever we announce tickets. But it, Chicago, if you win one, if you win tonight, and you win the Chicago tournament. You're the number one overall seed in the dozen trivia tournament. Simple as that. Smokin, if you win here today, you will then play match 200 for the crown, the regular season title, and the first round bye. Could be the Frank Getz. Could be the Yak, maybe. Could be Minahan. Could be Chicago again, too. Chicago loses here, then wins in Chicago. They might just be back to number two. So you would play whoever the number two ranked team is at that point in time. So this is it for the crown. Big one for both teams. Here we go. As always, 12 rounds of trivia, 24 questions, 25th question being the bonus round, uh, three lifelines. You can double up any category you want except for round six in each category round, which now teams pick their own category. Uh, we'll get into it what you guys picked when that category rolls around. And then your call a friend and your double sip. You can't pair those up with a double, but those two can be used together at the same time. Here we go. First category, NBA. NBA. And obviously the, the Billy football naming fucking pronunciation rule in effect. We all know. Just so as long as someone says it close and gets it, we'll 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 cross the bridge when we get there. NBA first category. Anyone want to uh, anyone want to double up? No. That's a no. Here we yeah. go. First category, 35 seconds on the clock for Chicago when I'm done reading the question. For what team did Gerald Wallace spend the majority of his career games played? Majority of his career games played. That's – I mean, I feel like it's so easy that – it's not going to be the right answer. Would you say – so in my brain, I went Gerald Green. And yeah. I can't think of who Gerald Wallace even is. No, I got – um yeah. uh, Ten seconds. I don't know. Should we just give him a guess? Gerald? We like the – I don't know, Pacers maybe. Pacers, Nets. All right, we'll Two. Bro, I love these Charlotte Bobcats out there. Pacers, they really? ran out of time. Other side. Huh. Bobcats I, would have been my guess I as thought, well. Maybe Celtics. I thought Bobcats. Yeah, when I picture so, Gerald Wallace, I picture him in a Bobcats jersey. Celtics, Nets, Pacers. Um, I think he was part of that trade that brought KG to the Nets. Um, shoot, five. Yeah, guess any of those. I, I was Bobcats. So. Let's do. Let's do Pacers. Final answer. That is what Chief guessed. It's Pacers. It's Bobcats. It's Charlotte. Oh, oh wait! I thought they guessed wow. Bobcats. Yeah, I yeah. thought they I thought guessed they guess Bobcats. Oh, I said final answer Pacers. Yeah, he said Pacers. Oh, oh, man. Fuck. I thought you said. I, even, I did even repeat Bobcats. it too. I said he said Pacer. I tried to take. I had to take Pacers. Fuck, I didn't hear that. Dave did say yeah. it, but it was after. It was it's well just after the Frank, you just interviewed Frank. Not that he's on the Pacers anymore, but other side. Like, Jose Canseco catching that ball right there. Other Damn. side. Here we go. This is force mocking. For what team did Richard Lewis spend the majority of his career games played? That like that was legitimately defense by Chicago. <laughs> magic? Yeah, I I it's Magic, it's Sonics. Um I think yeah, I feel like it's got to be one of those two. Yeah. Uh, maybe Mag Magic feels more like he he had his greatest successes with the Magic, right? Like once yeah. went to the finals. Um 
Should we double dip or, or just go magic? Five. I feel like magic's a good answer. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay with magic. Two, Let's one. stick with magic. Final answer. Well, Other side. It's got to be the Sonics. It's got to be Sonics. Yep. Seattle. Final answer. I know. That is correct. Yeah. One to nothing, Chicago. Fuck, Defense, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's about as badly as you That's can manage. Uh, Point, uh, points off of turnovers. That's always yeah, special, special teams and defense. That's that is, great. Uh, this That's is not good. <laughs> celebrity mashup. This is unbelievable. Uh, right. Celebrity mashup. This is for Chicago. One to nothing. Super, super early. Name the two celebrities. I, th- I think the outside is Springsteen. Yeah. Yep. I like that. And then. Uh, Ah, fuck, I know those eyes. I bet you do. What do you got? Carrie Underwood? Yes, Carrie Underwood. Carrie All right, Underwood. Swing Scene and Carrie Underwood. Underwood yep. Final answer? Yeah. Yeah. That is correct. Two nothing. Wow, boy. Great ball seat. I knew the eyes. I was like, who the fuck is that? Other side. Couple of legends. Make it two to one. Name the celebs. That's. I know the outside. What? Is it Kelly Clarkson? One of the Jonas Brothers? Ooh. Is the inside Kelly Clarkson? I think you might be right. I know the outside. I just don't want to say it yet. Um, That's all I got is uh, I feel like the inside's Kelly Clarkson, but... Okay, the outside is... What's his name from the... Uh, Ten seconds. The... For the good time. That guy. What the fuck is his Robin name? Robin Thicke. Three. Robin Thicke. Let's see Robin Thicke, Kelly Clarkson. Other side. I like Robin Thicke a lot, actually. Okay, so then what's the inside? I don't I don't know the inside. Is that like the dude's teeth? No. I feel like it's two different mouths right there. Um it's definitely Robin Thicke. Oh fuck. I really like Robin Thicke. Five, four, three, zero. One. Ken Jack, who do you think it is? Is it Osborne? No, that is uh, that's Michael Bublé. That's Michael Bublé. Ah, uh, uh, damn! Same fucking guy. I think that's the first time I've ever seen his face. Actually, yeah, that looks like Rob Thomas's hairline and everything. That's crazy. That's, that, that's what I want Michael Bublé to look like. So that's good. <laughs> it's college basketball. You want a double? It's no. mocking. That's my fault. Uh, yeah, you want a double, Titus? You don't have to, but I just you may want. To yeah, I mean, whatever. Yeah, we can. Let's do it. College basketball double for Chicago. Chicago, I mean, double for Smokin. This is for Chicago. One point. A 2000-2001 first-team All-American. This North Carolina guard played two seasons alongside the likes of Brendan Haywood and Julius Peppers. Who is Ed, uh, Ed Coda? Ed Coda. Uh, okay. Ed, Ed Coda. Ed Coda. Final answer? Final. Oh, Other shit. Side. That would have been my answer. Um, 2000. Felton? He's a year little earlier, I think. Um, Felton later. Yeah. Felton was later. Uh, Coda was in the late 90s. Four. Who was in between? Three. Two. I mean, one. Fuck. Is this Felton the final answer? Yeah. As one, Joseph Forte. Joseph huh. Forte. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, shit. I, okay, yeah. I, I thought I was thinking point guard. That's my fault. That's my fault. I fucked that up. Here we go. Other side oh, for two it. points in the read. tie. A 2004 first-team All-American, this Oregon guard, and I'm going to say guard slash forward, ended up as a lottery pick after playing alongside Luke Ridenour and Fred Jones. 35 seconds. 2004 first-team All-American. This this guy. When they're actually forward, you're saying? I'm going to say guard slash forward because there is okay. a debate on all of the sites, but I don't think it's okay. going to make that much. It's Everything else is still obviously. Uh, I, I, I want to say this was the Luke and Luke team with Luke Jackson. The left-handed dude that played for the Cavs, I think, and was a first-round pick, and I, I think he was a first-team All-American. But I thought I felt like he was more of a big dude. But there's well, no other name that comes to mind other than Luke Jackson. Five. So I'm comfortable with that. Yeah, let's do Luke. Yeah. Luke Jackson final Luke answer. As well. Tied up. Two nice. Two. Nice. All Good right. job. Sweet Titus. Music next category. This is for Chicago music. Whose 1999 song starts with these lyrics? There's every good reason for letting you go. She's sneaky and smoked out. It's starting the show. Call him up. Call him up. Call him up. Unless you know it. I. It's just so hard without a beat. Just there. Right, call him up. 
Yeah. This Make a beat. So, it sounds like a Counting Crows song. Hold on. Be Born quiet. Friend, be you. Colin, you cunt. You better not do it, Colin. He uh -oh. might. I'm going to kill Colin. Oh. <laughs> We're close. Who's uh who's 1990 Who's 1999 song starts with these lyrics? There's every good reason for letting you go. He's sneaky and smoked out it's starting to show. There's every good reason for letting you go. She's sneaky and smoked. There's every good reason. Shut, shut up. You go. This has been kind of starting to show. I've heard this before. One more second. I think it's Third Eye Blind. 20 seconds. Well, I like Third Eye Blind. I like oh, I actually like that. Yeah, Third Eye Blind. Let's go Third Eye yeah. Blind. Third Eye Blind. Final. That is correct. Oh, Colin. Wow. Successful phone Let's a friend. Go, Colin. I thought he wasn't going to answer. Other side. Right now. To tie it up. I'll never Who's 2000 you. song starts with these lyrics? I can't stand to fly. I'm not that naive. I'm just out to that's, find the better part of me. That's the high pitch guy. I can't stand to fly. I'm not that naive. Five for fighting. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Five for fighting. And the fact that Dave reacted that way makes me think I might be right. Um, yeah. Got to be a And it's not uh, easy to be. Five. Yeah, it's five. So you got to give a final five for finding final answer. That is nice. correct. <laughs> three to three, little, tied up. Little hole in the defense there, Dave. Need to close yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, Dave, that was, you got right. posterized. Thank you. I missed a tackle. <laughs> movies next category. Movies. Double off the board for Smock in Chicago. You have yours, but Chicago, you don't have your phone to friend Smock, and you do. In the longest yard, two thousand five, Adam Sandler's character goes to jail after stealing the car of his girlfriend, played by Cox. what sitcom actress? So easy. Courtney Cox. Add a boy, Dave. Courtney Final. Cox. Final. Our, uh, she she was stunning in that movie. I, I remember. Yeah. Very smoked. short appearance, but yes. I'm going to be honest. When this was written. Didn't remember that part. Would not have gotten that. Would not. Dan Patrick pulls her over or pulls him over. Total. That I do see. That I do remember. Legendary Adam Sandler actor Dan Patrick. Other side four to three to tie it back up. And along came Polly. Ben Stiller's character gets cheated on by his wife on his honeymoon. Played by what sitcom actress? Hank Azaria is the one that um, sleeps with his wife, and it's the redhead from. The, the famous redhead actress from like De not Desperate Housewives, what the fuck's her name? Yeah, oh, fuck. Never watched that goddamn show. And everyone wanted her to play Lucy and I Love Lucy movie that Kidman got. Oh, fuck. It's like Diana. you have so, ten Sasha seconds. Cohen's wife. No, it's a red. It's like the most famous redhead actress probably. This Five, game. four, three. Fuck. Two, I don't. I don't remember. I don't one. remember her name. Other side. Deborah Messing. Debra Messing. Final answer. Final answer. Five to three, Chicago. That I have is no correct. Idea that is. Wow, that was an honorable mention in 2000 comedy draft. That was too. I mean, Ken Jeffrey can throw all the descriptors too. Will wow. Yeah. I gave you guys. I gave pretty much the full description of the movie except for knowing <laughs> her name because I never watched anything she's That's ever right. Everyone wanted her to play Lucille Ball. Um, we also had an episode of Seinfeld. Yes. Five to three. Niche category time. Teams pick their niche category. Chicago, I guess disadvantage. You could not pick the one you picked last time. You had Chicago White Sox. This time, Chicago Blackhawks. So in the Chicago tournament, your next match, you cannot play. Uh, you cannot use the Blackhawks. Stay on, uh, Chief. Stay on. First time with this rule for Smokin, uh, you went with Futurama, which is that never got picked. This is why we did this. You can now people get to pick categories they would never have. Here we go. This is for Chicago to take a 7-3 to three lead. Blackhawks. This player scored two OT winners in the 2012-2013 Stanley Cup playoffs, doing so in the Cup and the Conference Finals. Conference Semifinals. Conference Semifinals, excuse me, yes. I'm going to say read better than, Brent Seabrook. can read better than me. Brent Seabrook. Final. 
Seven to three. Other side, Futurama to make it seven to five. During a $300 stimulus episode, Bender spends his stimulus on burglar hmm. supplies to steal what $10,000 item? A Zubin cigar. Or it's, or it's not as... Was it a Grand Zubin? It was a, it was a cigar made out of the Declaration of Independence was the item. It was a big-ass cigar made out of the, the Declaration of Independence. That doesn't sound specific enough. <laughs> so I would have to agree. It's, it's either... Well, I don't know what it's going to be described as. It's either going to call it the Declaration of Independence cigar or the Grand Zubin. So I got it's going to be. Um, what Grand, Zub Grand Zubin felt right. That was the first thing you said. Yeah, but let's go with the I Grand mean, Zubin cigar. Close Final enough. answer. Yeah, yeah. You described it more than well enough. Yeah. Seven to five. Yeah. <laughs> Great episode. You almost oh. over explained it. You don't get extra points. Yeah. You explained yeah. it perfectly. Bonus round time. Chicago, you could be up nine to five or it could be tied up seven to seven. Here it is. All right, let's go. It's a huge swing right here. Time to make the donuts. Social media, kind of. Uh, kind of. Kind of. Chief, final answer person on your team. Ken Jack, final answer person on your team. Got to be good about time. Ken, oh, second oh, answer. Don't say anything. Let Chief answer until he starts struggling. So don't give them anything. There we go. This is the question. Also, I'm going to say something. Now I'll say it after I show you the question. In the top 25 most followed big four sports teams, not named after animals, combined followers across Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. They can't have animal nicknames. You can guess it. It's wrong, though. Mavericks do not count. I'm throwing that one out the window. Mavericks don't count. Human beings are not animals for this exercise. Yes. Uh, Right. I can confirm yes. So no, okay. no animals. My Here science teacher taught me otherwise. But timer begins yeah. for Chicago <laughs> now. New York Yankees. Red Sox. I like Red Sox. Yeah. You guys, good with that. Let's mm -hmm. do Red Sox. New York Giants. Um. What about Celtics? Celtics? Yeah, that's, that's a game. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Celtics. Um, Cowboys. Cowboys. That was gonna be the one I was gonna say next. Uh, Lakers. Yeah, Lakers. I think this is number one. Is it? It is. That's what I would guess. Number one. Uh the Mets. Yeah, New York Mets. No. Mm. Big opening. Uh. Ooh. I think that's mm. out of the box too. Basketball Knicks, maybe? Five. Ooh. Four. Yeah, that's yeah. Knicks. Three. Yeah. Knicks. Need this one. Uh you need I mean, yeah. we like the Steelers? I, Packers. Yeah, yeah, the Packers for sure. Packers for sure. I, I would be all right, pack, all right, Packer. They're on there. But for the two I, points. I feel like Cubs. Steelers? Cubs or, is a good answer. Wait, maybe. yeah. That's mean, an like, animal. Like the That's bear an animal. Cub? Oh. animal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Steelers? Four. We can take Steelers from them. Steelers. Let's try it. Steelers. Yeah. What'd you say? Which one? Steelers. Steelers. That is tied up. They're on the list. Seven to seven. <laughs> My next one would have been the how are the, how are the Mets? The Mets suck at social media, though. <laughs> NBA yeah, rules the list. NBA rules the list. Look how far down the Red Sox are. Um, NBA rules the list. I think only the Dodgers, Red Sox, and Yankees were in the top wow. 25. Dodgers. Dodgers. Cavs Anyone were in a great time Amazon. for social growth. Baseball's the worst. Yeah. Okay. I completely forgot point. about the animals part. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You did. Cubs would have been a trap. That would have been terrible. Been terrible. Be by Carl. They were all being like, Hello, I thought Cubs. you can't say. I thought. I thought Jeff definitely would have said. He said, "There's no way Jeff would have let that go." Him. Yes, no, I, 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 I would have. Because in the beginning, I did say you can guess it. It will be wrong, though. Yeah. But I mean, I think, they, think they, to be fair, they realized it. I, so it. I don't even have to do with what you guys. That's said. okay. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm, I'm. I just threw a pick six. We're tied up. Battle for the crown seven, tied at seven, going into the second half of the questions. Chicago, though, little leg up. You have your double. You have your double. College football next category. Should double? we? Yeah, let's double. Let's get hot. Right. Doubled for Chicago. Here we go. 35 seconds. 
DJ Shockley, a one-time top 25 recruit, landed at what school in the 2001 class and eventually won a conference title in 2005? It was Miami. 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 It's Miami? What do you have, Chief? I I thought it was DJ Shockley was like the quarterback wide receiver went to Georgia. Oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And there's Jeremy Shockey who's getting in the brains here. But you're right, Chief. It is Georgia. Georgia. Georgia Georgia final. Georgia final. Big save by Chief. That is correct. Oh, Georgia. Baby. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Jeremy Shockey did, did seep into the brain, though, clearly. Other side, down nine to seven. Rhett Bomar, a one-time top oh, 25 recruit, landed at what school in the 2004 class for being dismissed over an NCAA rules violation in 2006? I used to be obsessed with Rhett Bomar. Fuck. Because I thought his name was so cool. It's a wild name. Uh, it's oh, Damn it. Or mm. Bomar's name you mash you on the keyboard. And Jack? I, I it's it's like high school, man. This is like oh fuck. I need to like dig deep into the things. For... Is it Oklahoma? That's that would be my guess. I don't know. Why, why did you give me that little look, Chief? Is he a Notre Dame guy? Oh, he is so fucking guilty. Five. Four. I I, I can't remember. I'm Two. okay with Notre Dame. Final, Final answer? Yeah. Out of time, other He's side. Oklahoma. 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 Red Oklahoma. And Oklahoma. <laughs> Oklahoma. Final answer. Yes. Yes. They're the eighty-five Bears. They play Oklahoma. defense like I've never. Are you seen car dealership job? That old fake car dealership yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Sam, you said you went to the bear. He's bear cat, Jeff. He's a bear. Are you fucking kidding me, Jeff? <laughs> like, are we are we serious with this match? Like, what is happening? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Everyone says Wait, it. They're like, they're, your, your brain's turned to mush playing them. I don't I, I don't understand what's – I feel like we've gotten every single goddamn question right, and, like, somehow <laughs> our, we just keep fumbling the ball at the one-yard line. <laughs> that's that's how you play defense. Uh, you give a little smirk, let them think it's Notre Dame, and then you hammer them with open. I really had no – That, that actually – you just disguised a perfect zone this, blitz there, Chief. This yep. really feels like a conference rival that we, we swept in the regular season, and now we're meeting the conference mm-hmm. tournament, and uh, yeah. we're just, like, shit in the bed. And Still I can't make sense. Game three times the season, everybody says that. 12 points left. World history is the next category. This is the rare matchup where we can do world history. Here we go. This is for Chicago. The territory of British Honduras changed its name to what after being becoming self-governing in 1973, later gaining independence in 1981? Hmm. British Honduras. I don't think I've ever heard of that. You have your double sip. Other side, remember, you have your phone a friend and your double sip. All right. Maybe. Actually, I have a guess. I, like I got a guess. There's only, there's only one country in Central America that speaks English, and it's Belize. So I think we should say Belize. I like that. Let's do it. I, be, I believe you. Belize, Belize, final answer. 11 to 7. That is correct. Let's go. That's just actually hot right That's now. That's mother work right there. Unbelievable. Belize. Other side. In 1964, the territory of Northern Rhodesia uh, um, became Rhodesia, excuse is, me, became what nation after gaining its independence from Britain? Rod- Rhodesia is like a Star Wars species. Yeah, Rhodesia. Um, yeah, that was South. So, it was a South African group, right? Like, uh, yeah. So Zimbabwe was one of the Rhodesias. Wait, was that? Yeah. You have your phone, a friend, and your double sip reminder as well. I think it might be the other side. It's like either Lithoso. Zambia or. Zimbabwe, I think. I think you're right on that. I don't think it's Lothoso. Um I'm trying to think of like this. Double dip. Double sip. Yeah, why not? Double right. sip double activated sip. and five. a double sip. A double Let's sip. Do double sip. What's your first guess? And Zambia. Zambia first. Nice. Eight. Nice. Wow. We right. pulled down. Right. MLB next category. MLB. We double. We got the double sip still. What round are we in? Yep. We're nine now. This is for Chicago. Yep, you do have your you have your double sip. The next this category is round nine. MLB. In 2014, what two Baltimore Orioles outfielders won Gold Gloves? A- Adam Jones and Nick Markakis. Yep, love it. Lock it up. Final. That is correct. Twelve to eight. Other side. Can eight they points remaining. Feels good. Or nine points remaining. So, in 2011, one two Los Angeles Dodgers outfielders won Gold Gloves. Four point lead. 
excuse me, seven points remaining. Had that completely wrong. Like Crawford and two outfielders. Was Crawford even on the fucking? I don't think so. That can't be right. Mm-mm. Do you guys think you have this? You know, I'm so bad at baseball, man. I don't think any of these three are very good at baseball. Yeah, so I do too. Uh, An answer in five, four, three. Uh, Crawford and somebody. I got no idea. Two, I got nothing here. One. Other side. I got Matt Kemp and Andre Ethier, I believe. Uh, I Matt Kemp it. sounds right. Can we double sip it? Can we double sip a steal? No. Oh, we're not allowed to? Um, no, and I need well, an answer in five. I, well, let's Four. do that, Carl. What about J.D. Drew? Did he ever – no, he didn't. One. Yeah, so we're taking Matt Kemp and Andre Ethier. Yeah. That is correct, 13-8. Fucking baseball, boys and as always. How many let's, double, let's double them up. Let's get to 16. Six points Jeez. left, five-point lead. Wow. I can't do math. I thought there was more than that. It's six points left, five-point lead. This is huge. You get this right, it's over, Chicago. Plain and simple, you take the crown of the Chicago match. Here we go. It's Supermarket Sweep. You're going to see three blank products. You're going to tell me the name of each product. Dave, this is all you, dude. Let's go. 65 seconds. Is this... For the win. Chief, you got it. I the, I know the far right. I, I can't think of the middle, but I can describe it. It's the drops that you put in the water. I, I think the middle is called Mios. Yeah, it is right. called Mios. Far okay. right is called – that's a lean cuisine for sure. Okay. And uh, the left is, is like, like – is, is that like boom shock a lot? Yeah. Like, you yeah, know, ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go boom, boom shock a lot. Mios and a link with Zine. Three. Final. Other side. Big steal. It's boom. Uh, it's boom chick a pop, I'm pretty sure. The um, middle is definitely yes. Mio. No, yeah. no plural. It's it's and, just Mio. Okay. Boom chick a pop. Like. Boom chick a pop. Mio and Link Cuisine, I think, is right. What do you guys think? Yeah. Four, Cosine Donnie? Three. Yes. All right, yeah. Three. Final answer. Boom chick a pop, Mio and Link Cuisine. 13 9, you Let's stay go. alive. Would you have accepted Mios, Jeff? You have to. We, right? No, I, not in a match like this, Jeff. No. <laughs> not in a match like this. I That's plead like, the fifth. It was being discussed. It was... <sighs> Mios has, I mean, like, if you have two of those packages, you call it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I say Oreos, aren't they? Are they Oreo? Yeah, There's only whatever. one package in the photo. That's plural in the name. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, other side to make it 13. 13-10. We should have doubled. Nah. Products. So it's Orville Redenbacher. Orville. Yeah. Annie, Annie. Annie Shells, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Long John Gordon. Silvers? That's not that's – not, they don't do that. Gordon's? No, it's Gordon's. Gordon's. Yeah. 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 Are you sure? I thought it was like Captain or something, but no, I think that works. No, um, if you, if, no we could talk yeah. it out, but I – Yeah. No, no, I think that's – I think that sounds good. Is that – is that Orville Redenbacher or is that the other what's I I, I think that, that feels Orville Redenbacher feels right re- well because they do the red and something like red and white logo or like yeah but, but that's home style butter, so maybe that's the blue five is it pop smart um, yeah pop then, smart it is pop smart okay okay so pop smart Annie's and Gordon's final answer other side oh. for the win act is it act is it like act, act three or something? It's, like act, it's Roman numerals, right? Oh, yeah, I think it's like act, act two. Act two. Act two. Act two, act two, act two, act two Annie's, Annie's, and I don't know the fish. I, it's got, if you don't know, I mean, they say Gordon's, I guess. That sounded like they knew that Five. convincingly. Okay. Four. Right. Act two, Annie's Gordon's? Yeah, final. Pop secret Annie's Gordon's. Pop secret Annie's Gordon's. Damn. Was you want to take? What did we say? Hair. Four points point. left, four point lead. Chicago, you win the game oh, if you smart. score any right, more points. Let's go. Let's put them away. All right, let's oh. go. Come on. Television next category. Mm. Mm. These are going to be day. lyrics in a theme song. I did blank out some of the lyrics. It's not a finish the lyrics. It's just tell me the show that uses these lyrics. That's all the question is. 
This is for Chicago to win the game and the crown. Retain the crown. What Nickelodeon shows theme use these lyrics? One fine day with a blank, a baby was born and it caused a little stir. What show used those lyrics? You have your double sip. You can use it this round or next round. Would it be a show about the bait? Would it be Rugrats? No, that their theme song doesn't have lyrics. It's just I don't remember. Just a little melody. Uh, baby was born and it caused a little stir. Dinosaurs? Is that a? I don't think that was Nickelodeon. That was okay. uh, that was like TGIF. Okay. I mean, don't kick the baby. Ten seconds. Let's just. You want to double sit? No. no. Well, we don't even have one uh, answer. We like why? Would we do this two? Yeah. Three. What is it? Pass. They're gonna punt. Other side. Cat dog. Cat, cat dog. dog. Cat dog. Cat dog. Cat dog. Cat dog. Was born in a oh yeah. Cat, cat dog. Wolf in a purr. Cat 13, dog. Ten. Great theme song. Never even. Everybody Make it 13-11, other side. When Nickelodeon shows theme, use these lyrics. Fresh blank, stop looking, watch, ready yet, get ready set. Yet, get set, it's all that. This is all that. This is all You feel the tides that. turn in Chicago? Can we just say oh, An absolute oh, joke, job. 13-11. Last no. round, Chicago, you have your double sip. Smock and you have your phone friend, but it doesn't matter. Chicago gets this. NFL is the last category. No. For the win. With the double on. dip. Come on, guys. For the win. No. Don't give them a sports. All right. Ron Dane, I'm on green, and Darius Walker were the rushing attack for what AFC team in 2007 for the crown? It is. Well, I, I'm pulled the. And pulled to the Titans. Remember, we got a little bit here. Darius Walker was a Notre Dame guy. I feel like he played for the. What about the Raiders? I, Twenty seconds. I think I like. I don't remember Ron Dane or Amon Green on those. But Seattle? I feel like Al Davis would take Amon Green from from he got fun. We should, we definitely double dip this, but. I don't right. know why am I thinking Darius I Walker, but I could be, in. I could be, I could be, I, I have no clue. Four. I have no right, clue so at all. Jeff, we're going to double sip. First guess is? First guess is the Raiders. Ten seconds. And then a five-second countdown. Ron Dane. Did Ron, I'm on green. Packers. Want, didn't Ron Dane end his career in uh, Houston? Five. With a car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Texas, All right, yeah, Texas, yes, yes. Houston, Texas, Houston, Texas. Texans. Crown remains in Chicago. That is correct. <laughs> no, yes. Big one, David. Big one. Other side for points. You're going to be top six. No I matter was, what. You'll probably go up. It's like Ron Dane. Ron Julius Dane. Jones, Edger, and James, and Justin Forsett were the rushing attack for NFC team in 2009. He went from what, somewhere to the Ravens. Forsett. We went from... It was the Cardinals, right? Wasn't I think wasn't wasn't Edward James on the Cardinals? He ended his career in the Cardinals, yeah. Yeah. Who was the Cardinals final answer? Other side, any guess? I would guess Cardinals. Um final answer. Well it's an answer. <laughs> uh, Julius Jones played for the Cowboys. They, that. What did they what did they just guess? They dre- they dressed they guessed the Cardinals. So why don't we just say I know Julius Falcons? Jones? No. What do you like? Cowboys. We'll say Cowboys. Cowboys. Seahawks. Seahawks. Mm-hmm. Final answer. Chicago, 14-11. This is how it's going to go. For the first time ever in front of a live audience in a theater, thousand-person theater, you're playing Big Cat for the first time ever. Great. The Yak is probably going to be top six. That's a crown match. You win that, and then if you beat, I assume, the Frank Etts, you you have the first round buy in the tournament. Are you handicapping the tournament? What do you mean? Like well, you just said, you assume the Frank Cats. Who are they playing? Oh, uh, T TBD TBD okay. TBD. Okay. But you never know. So we'll get to you guys. If not, that's going to be it for you guys. This is huge. You you've held it for this long. You're going to hold it for over a hundred days after people said this was a joke that you even had it in the first place. Other side, Smokin, you're going to play. I think one more match at least, guaranteed. Whenever Donnie, I think you're off grid for a little bit. I just like for 
four days. All right, you're going to have one more match. Pretty yeah. solid night. Probably the Honkers, who you should have revenge against. You lost yeah. an OT against them. Yeah. Are you lost in, like, the final question? You're 4-2-0. You're going to be a top six seed in the tournament. Probably top four, top five. Yeah. Uh, you're starting to schedule very strong. Uh, anything else? Tickets going on sale soon? Titus, are you, are you, are you, I, I think you're going to be in person this year, right? I'm in person. I'm in person for the New York. Uh, yeah. after, you know, if after, you face Big Cat, you have to be there. To I know. The way before. the way it went down last year left a bad taste in my mouth. So I'm, uh, <laughs> Disgrace. I'm, I'm, I'm coming to New York, and we're not letting that That was that one of the most pivotal matches in Dozen history. It, ch it changed Dozen Big Cat yeah. forever. <laughs> it really did. Yeah. Uh, Chicago, we will see you again uh, the week of April 17th. You'll, the matches will air on that Wednesday and Thursday, back-to-back -back matches on Wednesday and then Thursday. And if you're lucky enough to get tickets, you will see them live with those crowns in Chicago for what could be the, the, the final attempt to lock up the bye in the tournament. Thanks to High Noon, Chicago does it again. They have taken down every single team in the top six at this point, except for one, and they will face them live in person. I want a written Illinois. apology from Brandon Walker. Yes. And you ain't getting that, my friend. <laughs> Not a chance. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. It's the High Noon. We will talk to ZD versus Honkers next match.